because the therapies that I think we're going to end up developing that will really combat aging well are regenerative therapies, therapies that actually restore the body, both mentally and physically, to a younger biological age, we have a strange situation when it comes to predicting how long people who are alive today and are at a given age today are going to live. Basically, it's, uh, there's going to be a cusp. Either you're going to make the cut and you're going to live long enough to benefit from these therapies, the first generations of these therapies when they come along, or you're not. And if you don't, then clearly we're going, you're going to live not much longer than people live today. But if you do, there is really absolutely no limit on how long you can live, because even though those therapies are not going to be by any means perfect when they first come along, they will buy enough time by this rejuvenation to allow improvements to the therapies that will make them better and rejuvenate people that much more thoroughly the next time around, even though they're chronologically older. So we're looking at indefinite lifespans coming very shortly after a situation where we add maybe 20 years to life expectancy.